Okay, I'm talking to Sheila Lightfoot, a West Hollywood resident, about the uh, alleged uh, unfolding scandal in the city of West Hollywood regarding uh, public expenditures uh, by uh, uh, council member uh, deputies. Sheila, let me have your take on this. Uh, what you, you know, your own personal feelings about what happened and what you think, you know, your idea of the outcome may be. Well, I mean, to me, this is just the latest outrage. Uh, we are, you know, we've all, we've all learned so many things over the period of time when we've been trying to look at this upcoming election. And I, the thing that blows me away is that they're taking developers out to these fancy lunches and it's the developers that are raping the city. And, you know, I mean, that's like insult on top of injury. Were you surprised that it was allegedly only John Heilman's deputy who was splurging on city money with a city credit card? Uh, okay, I, I mean, you know, I, I guess I at least expect if they're going to do these kind of shenanigans, you know, they do it in person. I guess that's why the deputies are getting paid so much money, you know, to go out and do all this schmoozing. Uh, it's, I mean, it's all, just all pretty stunning. How do you feel about the contrast in character? For example, John Duran's deputy repaid a $25 lunch to the city. Uh, how do you think that reflects on the character? Of you know, I, I, I mean, that was a brilliant contrast, you know, to see all of these extravagant lunches turned in and then to see, what was it, like a $50 lunch that John Duran's deputy took somebody out to and he reimbursed his part of the lunch to the city. Now that's the way it should be. Yeah, and he didn't even know that uh, the people would know about that. He did it no. because he's apparently an no. honest man. No, I mean, I, obviously he just did it as a matter of course, and that shows us the way it should be done. You know, I'm not even sure that I agree that the city should have paid for the other half, which was $25, but I mean, at least he was an honest employee and, uh, you know, and did it the right way. Do you think this uh, incident is going to make any difference in the way this uh, city runs from now on? Well, you know, I'm hoping so because as a resident, I've just been trying to get out there to other residents to get some of the non-incumbent candidates out in front of them so that they'll go and vote. And I'm just praying that this is the last thing that push, pushes people over the edge and gets them to go out and vote on Tuesday. Do you have any predictions about the election? Uh, you know what? I think we're going to do really well, and I think some of the incumbents are going to be saying goodbye to their their council seats. Sheila, how long have you lived in West Hollywood? Over 20 years. 20 years. Have you been a community activist, or is this your first? This is the first time I have ever gotten involved, and just reading things along the way and starting to do some research, I, everything that I read just disgusted me more than the thing before. So I just finally decided, you know what, I can't complain if I don't get involved. So I've just been doing everything that I possibly can to get other residents to pay attention and get out and vote. That's good Hallelujah. advice. I will, I will talk to you on Tuesday and we'll uh, follow up on this conversation. Let's hope it's a good day. Thank you, Sheila. All right, yeah. thank you. I'm Woody McBurry. I'm in West Hollywood at the press conference for the court of corruption uh, at City Hall. Uh, supposedly by John Heilman's uh, deputy who's spending thousands of dollars on uh, extravagant lunches, uh, unauthorized by principle uh, and morality at least. And um, the uh, press conference is just now breaking up. Excuse me. I'm going to show you a few signs here on the, on the wall. No endorsements, no developers, no Heilman Land Horvath. And here we have a Mito for West Hollywood change is on its way. Another Mito Avilis sign. Honk if you want change in West Hollywood, except it's pointing away from the traffic. This sign says endorsements equals money. Vote Lucas. And we want new leadership. It's a beautiful morning in West Hollywood, very sunny and not a wintry day. Uh, we'll talk
talk again next Tuesday and we'll see what the results of the election are and if people here are happy or if people here are unhappy. I'm Woody McBurry in West Hollywood. March the 7th, 2011, tomorrow is election day.